Hi everybody, I'm back with another video. This layout is going to be titled Lucky Us. Because I didn't actually do a title, I'm just going off of the largest sticker embellishment that I used on the page. Um, so it doesn't really have anything to do with being lucky. <laughs> um, anyway, I used the Daylight Kit from the Scraptastic Club and I mixed up most of my stuff, but I went back and was able to tell that most of the product that was used on here was from that kit, and the line that was most in that kit is the Simple Stories Charmed Life, so that's where all the die cuts and papers from this are, are what line they're from. Um, I'm going to start out by using, uh, or by cutting down the, uh, I don't even know what paper it is, but anyway, that striped paper in the back, and then I'm just matting, the, and I matted the photos to a teal piece of cardstock, and then I inked the edges just like I always do. So I was trying to use a zig pen to put glue on the back of this embellishment so I could glue it down, and this thing just, it, it's a new pen, but I still can't hardly get the stinking glue down to the to the tip to use it. It seems like it just keeps gumming all up around the, uh, basically where the place where it comes out. But um, anyway, I finally got it down. <laughs> um, I pulled out this die cut that says loving this, and I decided to use some foam adhesive to mount it. Um, on the right of the page, and it will not stay there. It stays, I think, for most of the layout, and then eventually I take it off. <laughs> now I'm just using one of those photo frames from the kit, and I'm mounting it to some of those um, craft tags that I don't believe are in this kit. I think they were in a different one, but I'm using it on in this one, and I'm going to mount the frame to that. Once I got the frame glued down, then I decided to go ahead and outline the inside and the edges of the frame with the black sharpie. Um, and then I'm just looking through the die cuts and pulling out some pieces that um, I'm going to use on here. I found some of these little tags and they said things like 24-7-365, so I decided to make it say love 24-7-365 on this little, um, or inside my photo frame. And then I'm also going to pick out some... Um, heart embellishments and I'm going to ink those um, and then I'm also going to use a sharpie to outline the edges of them especially after I inked them then it, they lost um, somewhat of their shape so now I'm just using the black sharpie to go around the edges of the photo frame as well as the die cuts that are in the middle of the frame once I'm done with that, then I pull out that love wood veneer, thinking that I might put that on there, but I decide against it because I had love um, already in two other places than on the layout, and it seemed excessive. At this point, I am going to glue this wood veneer camera down to the layout, and I have put the hearts down, and I used foam adhesive on the back of those when I put them down. So I was thinking I was going to use this Heidi Swap circle sticker on the layout, and it doesn't end up um, in any of these areas. It does eventually end up on the layout, but not until after I take that Loving This um, die cut off. Um, after that, then I started to pull out um, letters, thinking I was going to do a title, and I was thinking the title, I spelled out family, and I think it was just going to do family time. Not a clever person when it comes to titles, <laughs> it's usually just simple. Um, but Anyway, I didn't like the way the blue letters looked with um, the rest of the layout. Looking at it now, it doesn't look that bad, but um, I changed my mind and decided not to put it, and then I ended up just not putting a title on it really at all. Now I have the sticker that says Lucky, and I think, oh, I went around the corners of it, but of course it's a sticker, so it's sticking to the inside of my punch, and I decide to mount that to some cardstock to make it easier to punch. Then I'm going to go ahead and round all of the corners of it, and after I round all of the corners, then I will get out a black sharpie and <laughs> um, outline all of the edges of it.
So now that I'm pretty much done with the edges, then I'm trying to figure out where I want it to go, and I'm pretty sure that that's the area that I want it to live in. So I'm going to put it there, and then I'm going to take out some stickers, and I want to put us on it, but um, I first tried those block um, stickers, and then I switched to these other navy stickers, um, and they matched pretty well. The navy was off slightly, but not enough to bother me or to make it look like they didn't belong, so I went ahead and left them there. And then I'm going to pull off a star sticker that has an arrow through it and place that down as well. And this is when I decide that I'm going to take the loving this off and I just do a whole different set of embellishments over on that side, but I did not do that on camera. <laughs> Once I was done with that, then I started looking at enamel dots and placing them around in different locations on the layout. So up until now, the layout is looking pretty good to me. And then I decide that I'm going to mask off certain areas. And instead of sprinkling any kind of um, mists or anything like that on the layout, I am going to use a sponge with Versamark ink in it. And I'm just going to dab that down and um, emboss them afterwards. And this is still kind of an idea that I think I might want to use um, or might develop a little bit more. Um, yeah, I've been kind of playing with or playing with the thoughts on that. So I very well might use that again. Um, this was kind of my first attempt at playing with it. But, um, and these dots don't bother me. It's one I decided to um, ink through the dots as well that I ended up not loving the way that that looked on the layout, but it's there, so there's not really going to be anything to, uh, you know, you can't really take it back off, so. <laughs> so I did decide to do the same thing in the corner, or the upper right hand corner, um, and then like I said, it wasn't really this that bothered me so much as when I decided to use the same stencil and ink through some of the holes and then I wasn't loving it anymore. <laughs> but it's there, so we'll live with it. Um, I also took a stamp and stamped a journaling spot, and I started to write in it, and my ink pen went bad. And then I grabbed a different pen, and it was too thick of a pen, so that I wasn't loving either. And you'll see it in the photos. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.